While our commentary is family friendly, Until Dawn is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen Amount Play Until Dawn. Today, I'm in control. I have Matt. Don't I, Matt? Uh huh. Yeah, you do. And uh, we're, uh, we just switched over to Matt. We haven't seen Matt and Emily in like forever. Yeah, they went to go get her bag that was left somewhere. Yeah, so now we actually get to play as Matt and Emily, and we're going to see what happens, and I'm in control of their fates. It's one in the morning. What could go wrong? Nothing. Everything will be fine. So did they go get the bag? I can't believe Josh is dead. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No, well, that's what they I said mean, they were doing. They were wrong. What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I don't, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. Yo, I don't want to see dead people. So, what are we trying to do? I actually I, I actually don't know. Hit R1, There's a, it'll tell you your objective. Current objective, follow the path to the cable car station. You like Emily a good bit. You're very romantic. But I am Stephen George, and I will walk over here to find this thing. Oh god. It's a totem! Totem says... Black. Falling a rock, Stephen. Oh god. Where have we seen that before? <laughs> oh god, I'm so good at falling on rock. Uh, not this time. Not this time. If it means throwing Emily off a cliff, I'm keeping Matt alive. Matt, now that Josh is... Well, not that Josh was ever super great, but now that most of the people are dead that, you know, I've, I have I kind of liked, it's just... It's down to Matt. Matt's like the only oh, semi-decent person. An axe. I feel better with an axe. Where's an axe? Where do you see an axe? I don't know where he saw the axe. He just said an axe. And there's no axe. What are you talking about? Do you see an axe? No. Oh, it's, oh, in, it's the in the door. Oh, it's in the door. Oh. Creepy. There was an axe missing from that one place. There was. Clue found axe. So you have to have the axe. Right now, this is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Look, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look! There's what? a window you can climb through, That's Emily. That's Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. <laughs> I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? It's a talent. Fine, let's do it. Yeah, you're fine. <gasps> I'm not giving you the axe. That's, that's me. You don't get to borrow that. Uh, right. Here goes. Ah, uh, damn it. You're doing great, Em. Look at you help her through. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything that I can, which is oh my God. moral support. It's pitch black. I do not like this. I'm right here, Em. I can't see anything. There's so much crap in here I keep bumping into. It's okay. Can you find the latch? Uh, anything. No, man. I think there's spiders It's too here. cold for spiders. Be careful. Hard to be careful when it's freaking Frozen pitch black, you dead. Hey, I'm, I'm just trying to be helpful. Almost. Almost. Oh. oh, wow. I did it. Good job, then. That was easy. Rock. You're okay, too. That was good. We did good. A plus plus would buy again. hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's got to be the guy, the, the one who who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's got to know this is the only way back. Don't say that. <sighs> Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not... Far, oh, right? this is where it is. <laughs> I'm good, Em. But not that good. Flattered. <laughs> 
go. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know. Jump Everything it. is like so busted up. Let's just I take a look exactly around. What they were doing. See what we can find. Might be some clues in here. Die, 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 die. Nickelodeon. Someone really did a number on this joint. Such a mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and now? Okay, I can't Sanatorium. look. Sanatorium. I bet the house is the thing on the left. Yeah, it, it doesn't really let me look any further than this. Which is kind of a strange decision, but whatever. Hey, look! Fire tower. Oh. Firewatch. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Okay, I'm feeling like we should not do anything that could possibly <laughs> result in us falling. Very friendly. <sighs> Unfollow. <laughs> Man, that's, uh, wow, you said that. But of course you did. Of course you did. Uh, is there anything else in here? There's something on the floor. There is? Yeah. There's no key in the start-stop. I bet it's the thing on the floor. Great. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? Well, I, I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Not if it's been abandoned for Probably, years. Yeah. Matt, we got to get to that radio. Hmm. As a review, what what was the thing that was going to kill us here? Let's go back over here. This one? Yeah. That's not, that's, yeah, that's the wrong not one. That that's one. the wrong one. Uh, this one? No. That's also the wrong one. That was the right okay, one. Okay, replay. Maybe getting to the lookout tower? Because it looks like there's, like, that rocks. Could, that could be anything. That could be the fire tower. That could be the cable car. Yeah. Basically, we're up in the air, and we shouldn't be up in the air. I don't know. This is a crapshoot. Personally, I like the idea of going for the radio. Okay. We can use the radio to call for help. Somebody's got to pick up the signal. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh-huh. Now I don't want to do it. You do it. Now, I don't think there's anything on the floor. You sure? Walk towards the controls again. Because the glint you probably saw was probably the controls. Okay. Um. Probably. But also, the game has a tendency oh. to, like... Hold up. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you What's doing? Cooking, good looking. Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. What are you doing? Uh, uh. Oh god. Oh god. Um. Um. <laughs> um. Sorry, everything involving heights right now. Frightening. Anything over here that I could? No. She seems. I just. I'm, I'm super freaked out, man. I don't want to. All Look right. At this bad boy. You're coming with me, buddy. And just like magic, come on down. We can totally get out just here this way. Just be ready to hit buttons. You don't like this. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, maybe, um, you should go first, to protect me? Oh, dear God. Nah. Nah. Okay. okay easy but now. none of those rocks look familiar. Okay. Those All ones right. do. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. 
Oh, I'm God. feeling kind of faint. Don't Shut up. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Holy cannoli. Thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Holy cannoli, Batman. Oh, we're good? We're good. We're good. Everything's good, but also, screw that. That, mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. But thank you. All right, let's see where this winds up. At least we're on flat ground again. It looks like there's something up there, work. but... What? The radio. It'll work. But, okay, if it doesn't, we need a plan. Maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mountain. Nope. Are you serious? <laughs> What's the big deal? It, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. No. You think the psychopath is just going to give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up. Wait it out. It, it'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. I think the, he expects you to go to the radio. <laughs> all I know is that I am not climbing down no mountain. <laughs> I ain't getting anywhere near no ledge of anything. Because that's he how Matt. He says you cross this. That's how Matt dies. That's how Matt. Di they already showed us. The game was very kind and said, "This is how Matt dies." And I'm like, "Oh, okay." Now that I've been given this dear information, I will utilize it by not jumping off the cliff. something. Totem? Yes. Oh, fortune. Well... Let Chris in. That's, yeah. that's what I'm interpreting that as. When, when There's going to be a point where Chris is in danger or something and needs help. Let Chris in. Okay, you're going that way, but what about what about over there, man? We don't know. Maybe we should go check it out. Where are you going? She's going to the tower. Is she? Oh, that's pretty. I think we're just. This is just a little lookout thing. This is where the girls fell. Isn't it? It is. Oh my God. Dan Cliff. <laughs> now. What? Don't you get it? This is Dan Cliff. If we focus really hard, we may be able to summon the spirit of Dan. Dan, if you're out there, say something so we know you're there. But... Oh, God. I think that scares you more than anything in the game. Dan is pretty scary. All right. Thanks, Dan Cliff. We're now on our way back to wherever we're going. We're going to get... There's a deer. Can you hear the like them? Oh. So many deer. I See? There's a Jesus. lot of them. Maybe this is where he might fall. Why are they cornering them? <laughs> as, why are they as all deer males? are known to do. So that oh, was hey, weird. Okay, finally back to her. That ent that entire scene was bonkers, but okay. So we're finally back to Sam, who for like most of the game has been... In this bathtub? Has been in the bathtub. Listening to classical music. Oh my god! He was just standing there! Hello? She didn't even know. Guys. What are you doing out there? Being creepy. Oh my god. Okay. She's the, you know, but she's a survivor. She's gonna survive. I'm not basing this off of anything. I just feel like she has her life together. And is, you know, a slightly less terrible person. Washington Lodge, 1 a.m. Okay. Put some clothes on. You don't need to walk around in a towel. That's the fan service part of the game now. 
because if we're hitting all the horror cliches, fan service would be right up there at the uh, at the top. Have you ever heard that song, Blood? What is it? Blood guts and boobs. I mean, maybe. What's, is it blood guts and boobs or I don't know something? It's it's about horror. There's a thing, yeah. Oh, Pete's sakes, my clothes really? Oh. Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. Okay, so that's why she's not putting her clothes on, because the oh, clothes aren't thing. there. What? Or is that the same that's the same thing. thing. I just did a little, little turn. Chris. There's a red balloon. Gosh. <laughs> wow. What the hell? With an arrow. Remember, says, I saw the arrow. You're going the other way. Well, I'm investigating because investigation is important. Yeah, we we had we had our, our little Saul reference. Now we got a little it reference, which is funny because this game actually came out a bit before the remake, so it's there's uh, nothing. All right, so let's walk around this direction and see. We have to go this way. Someone gonna beat us over the head? Kind of fully expecting it. It's just a clock. Can we check it? Do we know how to tell time? It's hard to tell. There's another this balloon. <laughs> oh my god. Chris! Do you think there's gonna be 99? Mike, Emily? This is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? You had enough? Hmm. Their dad was a film producer. I mean, we knew that. Yeah, but for horror films. Oh, yeah, we didn't know about horror films. That's interesting. Can I have my clothes back now, or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the weekend? You know, I've only actually really... I can only ever remember the, the German version of that, yeah. so I can never remember the, the lyrics to the uh, English version. Okay. Hmm. i walk over here. Okay. We saw the things. It desperately wants us to go downstairs. <sighs> Can't we go any way but downstairs? We'll escape to the roof. There we go. We never did get over onto that side of the room. No. Strange light on that. See the guy that. going down the stairs? Huh? There was a guy going down the other stairs. Oh, no, I missed that. We saw this one already. Yeah, we did. But is there something new on the back? Oh, no. Nope. Just leave that there, then. Wait, was there blood on the... Oh, it's a shadow. I thought there was blood coming out of the candle, and I'm like, there's a bloody candle now? That seems relevant. You in the kitchen? Cooking something up? <laughs> this person, or group of people, Mal and I were discussing between episodes that, um... Are you guys in here? It kind of seems likely that there's multiple people. Like, there's too many guys that are in different costumes... It's like an organization of people working together. Is it going to be the same message? No new messages. Oh. It almost, you know what makes me wonder, though? If Chris had never heard the message, would Sam be able to hear it for the first time? I don't know. And would that impact something? Because the developers of this game did a really <laughs> good job, um, like, being able to, uh, like, make things work with other things. Silly TV, you're not supposed to be on right now. Huh, I thought I heard something. Guess not. Oh well, bye television. I could do so much better if it didn't do stuff like that. Yeah, the game, the game relies on a lot of jump scares. That door's locked. I think I did the same door. No. No, I did. 
That was the different door, though, because that was the one next to the picture. Is there anything over here? Ah, uh, looky here. So what do we have here? Oh, it's getting worse. Meat processing. Jack Mahoney. Huh. Okay. That's not unusual at all. So basically, uh, in this section of the game, we walk around and find out that every door is locked. Good to know. Good to know. And you said you saw someone going down the stairs, right? Yes. Which is, of course, where we need to go. But we haven't been in this back part of the house, right? See the balloon, like, points down to another... Th it was going down there, and it looked kind of like a clown to me. So yeah, we haven't been over to this section... Oh, can we not get over there? This is important to me, game. Don't you take this away from me. I haven't seen this part of the house. Thank you. Because I want to be able to feel like I've seen... There's even, like, reflections on the, the string the for the... String. Yeah, yeah, the balloon, which is cool. Oh, there's nothing over here, though. Disappointing. <laughs> it's really hoping for something. All right, down we go. How many floors are there in this house? Too many floors. So we have we been down here? Maybe. I don't know anymore. It's so big. Oh good! Are you guys? Now I have a flashlight. Wow, this is weird. Yeah, Levi's. Hey! Guys, come on! Oh, I'm done! With this, I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here. It's a movie theater. <laughs> because he was a filmmaker for horror films. Mm -hmm. Hello, Samantha. Looking for me? I don't think you'll have much luck by heck? looking, Samantha. You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show you. What is going on? Open your eyes. Oh my god. She's oh my god. Quite beautiful, what? Isn't she? What are you doing out there? I have a theory. A beautiful bathing bird. What? What Do you she think she has any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's Why are you life? Showing this to me. Why are you watching? Josh! How does it make you feel? Kind of a bad theory. Ten seconds. To Nine, do what? No. Eight, no, 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 Seven. Please, no! Sam. 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 Well, you... I could probably outrun you. My theory, bad theory, but a theory, is that... My controlling is that's going to suck. Now let's let's go for the jump. You don't want to sit in one spot. It's like a bad choice. My theory is that it's the dad trying to make a snuff film. It's a bad theory because that means that he killed his son. But maybe he's messed up. I don't know. It's the best I can come up with right now. And it's not you know a great decision uh you probably shouldn't always run especially if you come to a dead end are you kidding me no handle oh the handle convenient go. Oh, I survived. So far? Part of me is thinking maybe I should hurry. Oh, it's locked. I'm okay. Wow. 
Where the piss am I? I don't know. Is this the sanatorium or something? I'm really going with my instincts to just keep moving. I feel like sitting in one spot is just a really bad choice. That was a bad choice. Looks like maybe Hyde was the correct choice there. Hmm. Unfortunately, that's, uh, that's the... Glad I get to control him. Um, yeah, I, there was a there was a brief moment in my brain where it was like maybe this one I'll hide, but then I was like no 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 keep moving keep moving keep moving. Should, probably should have hit. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, next episode, Mallory's in control, but the good news good good news is that you get to control the psychiatrist part. Yeah. Is that less frightening? Yes. Is it? Yes. I actually feel like he's a lot like the whole scenario with that is a lot freakier. I mean, yeah, but it's not jump scares. Oh. Okay. Well, you do you, I'll do me. We'll see you guys next time for more Stephen Amell play. Until dawn. <laughs>